Hello guys, my name is Shitaj Shah and I am going to contribute at Sugar Labs for Google Summer of Code 2024. My project is about adding an AI assistant to the Pippi activity. So Pippi activity is basically a place where kids learn how to code Python. These are the topics on which I'm going to discuss about in this presentation. This would describe my entire project for GSOC 2024 at Sugar Labs. Introduction. My name is Shitaj Shah and I'm currently in second year of computer science engineering at VJTI. My mentors are EBM and Walter Bender. Now talking about the project that is adding an AI assistant to the PP activity. It mainly works in four steps. Four stages are there for this project. First stage includes building an AI assistant. AI assistant would basically generate would be generating code for kids and open source developers. These AI models are large language models. Second phase is deploying those large language models on some containerization websites like Docker and Docker Hub. Third would be enhancing the UI of the Pippi activity where this AI assistant is going to be deployed. And last and one of the most crucial phase of this entire project is integration. In this, in this part, we would be integrating the large language model with the UI of the Pippi AI assistant. Now talking about the AI assistant, it would be mainly performing four tasks. First would be generating Python code for kids along with the examples. Second, it would be helping new developers to the sugar understand Pygame library and also help with help them with the GTK basics. Last but not the least, it would also be performing the task of correcting codes of the kids. For implementing this AI assistant, I have tried many models which are open source. Some of them have been have been listed here. Gemini and Gamma have been developed by Google and these are quite good and lightweight models. GPT-2 mo GPT model had been tried by me a long back. However, the accuracy were not appropriate. Hence, I've discarded them from my list. Llama 2 and Llama 3 models being the sole models of Llama families have excellently high accuracy and the code which they are generating are of to good quality and easy for kids to understand. Code Llama. Code Llama is a special model made by Meta. It actually is made for the purpose of generating code for software developers. The accuracy of Code Llama supersedes that of Llama 2 and Llama 3. Mistral and Bloom are some of other models which I have tried. However, their accuracy is not as good as Code Llama. Now, the models which I have tried, I have tried to shortlisted them as much as possible. Based on my, based on the accuracy which they have provided, I have tried shortlisting them into three. First one is Llama 2. Here we can clearly see I have given the model the task of slicing a string named my is. The model is able to slice the string. Uh, and extract all the odd elements from it. We, I have shortlisted the models mainly based on the accuracy, the resources available, and the open source constraint. There are model, many models like GPTs, chat GPT are provided by OpenAI. However, they are not open source. Hence, I have discarded them from this list. Next is Code Llama. As I said, Code Llama's accuracy is too good. And here's one of the example. I have asked it to print all prime numbers till 150 and it's able to do so. Besides generating the code, it's also been able to provide me a proper explanation with respect to that. Another example is I asked for, uh, I asked is to write me an example of dictionary in Python. Code Llama is successful in doing that too. It's able to provide me very user friendly examples which kids can understand. A third model is Llama 3. Llama 3 is very latest model of the Llama family. 
and its accuracy is quite high compared to chat gpt4 it has passed several good models in testing metrics hence i prefer llama 3 as well as code llama for our project llama 3 model i have asked him for basic string slicing and it's able to do it in a very effective manner along with the code snippets it has been able to provide me proper examples once any three of the models once i am done checking all these models i would be deploying these models on some containerization websites like docker or docker hub these are basically the platforms where we can containerize our models what's the advantage of containerization containerization pro, uh, provides very good uh, facility of bundling all the dependencies together here you can see how all the dependencies like torch skippy sentence species transformers and c transformers have been bundled up these are bundled up to form a docker file and then these docker file eventually form a docker image this is the advantage of containerization with help of containerization the scalability and flexibility of the model increases and hence it can be easily upgraded by another developers once our model has been deployed on docker hub we would be enhancing the ui this is a rough ui of how the pp activity would look like after the ai assistant has been added this is a tentative design and is not sure uh, and can be changed if uh, it uh, if a need arises this is the final integration of the ai assistant with the pp ui this would be the rough architecture of how the docker image of our large language model would be integrated with the ui of the pp pp activity conclusion with this our project would come to an end and a, and a fully fledged ai assistant would have been integrated with the pp activity helping both the kids and the developers to have a better experience at sugar for the future scope we can try improving the accuracy of a large language model hence generate better code for kids and developers with time better and better models are coming in the market once the models have been implemented we can surely try to implement them as an ai assistant in sugar thank you